This podcast is brought to you by the School of Advanced Study, University of London. All of our podcasts are available from our website, www.sas.ac.uk. Copies of that statement are on the table at the back. 
So it is in this context that we are holding a public conference almost exactly one year before the problem is due to take place to take stock of what progress has been made in the country and to discuss today's title. Towards truth, reconciliation and a political solution, what will the Pogma and its 2013 Chogham play? Very quickly, I want to make a few points about the conference today. The first to say is this is a public conference and the panel sessions will be recorded and those recordings will go on our website. We understand that this creates certain restrictions for some people uh, and then uh, to the extent they wish to speak, but we thought it was important to hold a public debate to complement the many other private roundtable events that are happening in London and elsewhere around the Commonwealth. We wanted to have a, a debate to hear all sides of the story. We invited His Excellency Dr Chris Nobis, the High Commissioner for Sri Lanka, to speak. Unfortunately, we didn't receive a response to our invitation after many attempts at trying, so it was with much regret that we felt it was necessary to withdraw the invitation so we could finalise the agenda. We invited the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, who held their annual conference in Sri Lanka two months ago, to speak. Unfortunately, we were told that the Secretary General of the CPA had decided they would not be sending anybody to speak or to attend today's conference. We also invited the Commonwealth Secretariat to today's conference. To their credit, they did want to send somebody to speak, and they did try very hard to find somebody. But all of their senior staff who were in a position to speak to the subject are actually abroad on mission. When we advertised the programme, we didn't advertise, um, you, you will have noticed that we didn't have a speaker of Tamil origin on the initial programme, and I know that that was an issue um, that some people uh, complained about. It wasn't for uh, want of trying, um, but I am delighted to announce that Namala from the Sri Lanka Democracy Forum will be speaking in the second session. I do feel it's important to say for the record that we have invited a number of Sri Lankans to speak throughout today, but many of them were unavailable or felt unable to take part for other reasons. But we are delighted to welcome all of you to our conference and we thank you for coming today. I'm delighted to say that in the audience today we do have Senator Hugh Seagal from Canada, who was a, a distinguished member of the Commonwealth and Eminent Persons Group, and now a Canada Special Envoy for Commonwealth Renewal. And I know that during the course of the day we'll also be joined by Sir Ronald Sanders, a fellow member of the Eminent Persons Group. We will also enjoy the company of distinguished colleagues from High Commissioners and from High Commissions, including colleagues representing the governments of Australia, Canada, Mozambique, New Zealand, South Africa, Swaziland, the UK, um, and we hope a few others.